Hi everyone. I hope this finds you well. I thought today I would do another do to watercolor. Um, haven't done this. Did one about six months ago and it was uh, actually one of my more it was the most popular video that I did actually. So I thought I'd give it a shot today. I changed it up a little bit. Uh, so I have some arches, 100% cotton, cold pressed paper here. I'm going to use uh, Windsor & Newton paints, uh, size 5 brush. And what I've do, done is marked it the inside of my mat here and then drew a smaller line so that I will have a border inside. And I've measured it out for 8 squares. So we'll do 8 images today and try to move it along so it doesn't take too long and we're going to use gray purple and blue so cerulean blue Payne's gray so i am going to use uh, daniel smith gray that's uh, jane's gray which is a softer gray so jane's gray from daniel smith cerulean blue and uh Crimson Lake, or sorry, Purple Lake from Windsor and Newton. So let's start with the purple. Don't need a lot of mixing here. Now we're not going for really deep, rich colors, but fairly dark so that our pen work has a decent background. And again, we're not going for perfection in our little squares here either. So there's our purple. Let's come in with a Jane's Grey. This is a nice soft grey from Daniel Smith. leaving a little bit of space in between our squares here. Not going to be all even. Let's uh, try to work a little bit intuitively. A little bit loose. It's really in blue. Such a pretty blue. I think I'm going to put, uh, I'll do another purple, but I think I'm going to uh, use, make this purple a little bit lighter. Don't want it too light. Okay, let's come in with our blue again. I'm going to try Cerulean Blue from Daniel Smith and see if that's a different, same idea, a little bit darker than our uh, Windsor & Newton Cerulean Blue. Okay. A little bit darker purple here, a little darker than our other two. Another gray, and again that's Daniel Smith gray. James Gray from Daniel Smith and finish off with another Cerulean Blue. A 
little bit lighter than our other ones, I think. Okay, so that's our background done. Now I'm going to dry that and we'll come in and do our, our doodles. So my work's all dry now. I'm going to uh, now do the doodles and I've uh, pre-drawn some ideas for doodles, especially for a video because there's nothing worse than being halfway through a video and then getting stuck, not knowing what <laughs> what you're going to do next as far as something like a doodle or, you know. So, I know that uh, I'm going to be using Micron pens, a 05 possibly, a 01, Uniball pens, this is a white gel pen, I have a silver here and I have a, a gold, so I may be using all of those. I'm going to start off with my 01 and just draw a vine here basically or a branch wherever you want to look at it. I really like this design. Now I want it to sort of fill the space, not entirely. I'm going to come up with a little one here because I put that off center so that I could draw a little one down here. Now I'm going to change pens to my 05 and I'm going to fill this in. Now, make sure that your watercolor is totally dry. These pens don't like working over wet watercolor. Even if it's damp, it, uh, it affects the pens. Now this might have been, I think I did one of one uh, square with this design in my painting from six months ago. But the design I'm about to do now is a new one. And I think I'll do this on down here. Because I'm making clouds, I need a fairly dark background. So with my white gel pen. I'm just going to give the idea of some clouds here. And again, keeping the idea of threes and fives. I'll dry three clouds. And then at the bottom of that, I think I'll draw in some flowers. Maybe some sort of tulip looking flowers. Just real basic. The idea is that we're doodling and we're just having some fun. So we don't want to get too complicated. There we have it, okay simple as that. I think I probably will color that in. Small line so I'll stay with my 01 pen. I'll tell you I have been doing arts and crafts for about oh I don't know not that long I discovered it late in life. Probably um, five years started out with Zentangles and moved to uh, 
resin work and then watercolor and acrylics and so on so yeah some of my favorite these micron pens are one of my favorite uh, supplies I'll tell you that okay let's draw a plain leaf let's just do that let me see I'll just do that here. Just one big leaf. Center. And I'll tip this a bit because I like to. This sort of gives you the idea of veining. And if you curve your line like this, it also gives you a little bit of an idea of uh, dimension. But the leaf is working its way toward the center. Now I'm coming in with a little bit darker line for our center here. Just a nice plain leaf. Okay. Now let's try um i think i'm going to now this is a this gives you an idea of sort of a moss or small circles really close set really close together and finish off with dots. Now you're going to make the, the lines, you're going to make it different lengths. To make like, you know, this is how it would hang off trees or wherever it's hanging from. And this could be lichen or Smaller, smaller, smaller. We're not going to go all the way across, just the idea of it. There we have it. Okay, and we can have some flowers under that. Just doodling, just having fun. There we have it. And let's come in with our white gel pen and make those centers white. Just to make it stand out. There we have it. Okay. Now, okay, let's do a let's do a sun here. The idea of the sun and the sun's rays. And some flowers under that, I think. Just 
some funky little flowers. Let's make this sort of a tribal sun. And okay, I think I'll keep going and then make the last one. Fill the last one in, in black just to uh, bring a little more there we go now what I'm trying to do is have enough black in each one so that no one or two stands out uh, without the others so you have to have enough black in each one now I'm going to, I think, do, hmm, maybe just some circles. Let's just do some circles here. Somewhat oval. So, and we can come in with our I'm going to bring a Sharpie in, just because these are bigger. And that just helps me to fill it in faster. Okay. What else can we do here? Uh, we could do another sort of sun. Let's do some hills here. And then the sun coming up over the horizon maybe. Okay. Now we have to fill that in somehow and maybe we can use accentuate our hill our hills and let's double our lines here in our sun. And then fill in our smaller triangles here. Now we could leave that. Feels like it needs something. I'm leaning toward dots, but I'm th I'm hesitant because of our big dots here. So I think maybe I have to go with. Let's go with lines. Now I'm wondering if I shouldn't. Let's go with lines. And we can make these. Sort of a... Sort of a woven look. Okay. And then... 
we can fill in this one, I think. And then come in with some white dots. Remember, we're just having fun. We're just doodling. Okay, and we'll come in with some white dots. All right. Now our last one. What should we do for our last one? Uh, I really like this simple. Maybe some, maybe some trees. Triangular tree. An oval tree. And a circle. We can make our tree trunks stems, stems, sorry, <laughs> make our tree trunks striped. We can fill in, let's fill in this middle one black. And that brings, that sort of uh, evens out our black here. So we have a nice amount of black, but it hasn't dominated the entire painting. And then we could, uh, let me see, polka dots here, I think. And let's do this in. Continue this pattern. All right. And let's put some birds in. Why not, eh? And there we have it. I think we're done. I say that all the time. <laughs> And then I go back and say, well, no, I think I want to do this. I do want to bring the white out again in these flowers. And let's see. I wonder if we shouldn't uh, bring some white into this. I'm feeling like it. needs a bit of white. All right. Uh, some white here, maybe? Uh, yeah, let's just circle our dots with some white. All right, I like that. I think I'm quite happy with that. We could come in with some gold. I wonder if I want to introduce some gold or if I want to stop. Let's put a little gold. Let's put, hmm, let me see. Let's try this. little bit of gold up here uh, hmm. why not eh? and bring a touch over here maybe Just going to tip this here. And I think we have it. I think we're done. Yes, we're done. 
แล้วก็รีกระดาษตาดอันนี้ this one <laughs> it just caught my eye okay I think we're done let's take a look at what we have here now this is a five by seven mat so this is a small piece but quite sweet this could go anywhere so that's with our black and white mat this is a gray and white mat Now I get my mats from the matshop.ca. You can get them the matshop.com. That's the U.S. and Canada. I'm not sure. I mean, if you're in India or Belize or Australia, I'm not sure where you might get them. I like this one. We could try the purple. Oh, I like the purple too. So I don't know. Well, yeah, I like the purple. I think it's the purple. So I'm going to leave you there. I hope you enjoyed that. Would love again, you know, the routine, share, thumbs up. Would love to hear from where you're from. Uh, I seem to have a lot of subscribers from Australia. So thanks, folks. And for those of you that aren't from subscribers, please let me know where you're from. I hope you have a great day. And, and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.